what to sow in June? That's what we're talking about today, because maybe you're wondering, what should I sow this month? Well, here's what I'm sowing this month, and I'm going to recommend one seed that if you sow nothing else, you have to sow this. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. It's June and at this time of the year there's quite literally no end to the varieties of seeds that you can sow because the conditions now are just getting so good. Certainly here in Ireland the risk of frost has passed now but I know that you may not necessarily be watching from here in Ireland and depending on where you live you might still have a risk of frost. So as ever the same warning applies make sure that you know your last frost date before you start into any of these sowings. Saying that, if you live in the British Isles, the vast majority of the country is now past that last frost date, so we can be sowing tender seeds outside without really any worry. Hooray! It's so good to get to that point in the year. A lot of the seeds that I'm going to talk about today that can be sown in June are the same as what can be sown in May. So rather than going through each and every one of them all over again, I'm going to go through my top picks for this month and I'll link my May seed sowing video up here. Go and check it out and come back to this or watch this and then go and check it out. Today's seeds are going to give you some really nice quick homegrown harvests this summer and some plants that will give you nice harvests later into the year and even early next year too. If this is your first time watching or you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon for more videos from me. And of course, if you find the video useful or enjoyable, make sure to hit that like button as well. Now, let's get talking about these seeds. Don't worry about having to write all of these seeds and varieties down because I'll leave a link to my website, nilegardens.com, in the description down below. And there you can find this month's seed list with everything that I'm talking about today. And you can check it out whenever you need to. So the first seed that we're talking about this month, radishes. You can keep sowing radishes in June and they are just a lovely super quick crop that can be easily sown around now and it can be sown in amongst slower growing crops while you wait for them to mature. Now for the last couple of months I've been growing two varieties, French breakfast and cherry bell, but I will keep sowing them but I'm also going to try something just a little bit different and unusual. This is a Chinese radish called Mantang Hong. Mantang Hong? Yeah, Mantang Hong. I'm really drawn to how it's white on the outside and pink on the inside. It's like the reverse of a standard radish. I just thought that looked really nice and really different. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Next up, it's two old favourites and that's two types of carrots. You can continue to sow your carrots in June and I'm going to be sowing two varieties. Autumn King 2, which I've mentioned before, and I'll keep sowing that, but also this Resistifly. It's an F1 variety and Resistifly is said to be resistant to carrot root fly, which is always a good thing. So I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for that. Next up, and we're talking about beetroot. Beetroot is a real staple in any garden. It's easy to grow, the seeds are really affordable because you get loads of them in a packet and then you can either eat the leaves in salads or you can keep growing the plants onto maturity to harvest the beetroots themselves. Now I'm going to be introducing a second variety into the veg garden this year. I've been growing bolt hardy up until now. It's very well known but the other one is also pretty well known. This is called Chiogia and it has a super distinctive candy stripe kind of look. It's pink and white striped inside when you cut it open. I thought that just looked really cool and I was so attracted to it. Now the next seed is something definitely unusual or at least it's unusual for me and that's kohlrabi. Kohlrabi can still be sown in June. They're a really quick maturing crop so it's going to give you something fast and something again just that little bit different in your veg garden from the regular stuff that you're sowing and growing. This variety is called Calibri and it's the one that I've opted for this year. Turnips grow surprisingly quickly and they're a really nifty crop to include in your veg garden. I'll be making another successional sowing of this one. This is Turnip Tokyo Cross 
I made a sewing last month and I'll be doing another one this month. These are lovely little pure white golf ball sized and golf ball shaped turnips, which I think will be really nice roasted with some of the other things that I'm growing in the garden. Right, let's talk about courgettes and cucumbers. It's not too late if you'd like to sow and grow your own courgettes and cucumbers. In fact, this year, when it comes to courgettes, I've had a bit of a dire year. I've actually already tried two sowings and had so little success. So far, I've only had one seed germinate into a plant, and normally I have so little difficulty with them, and I recommend them as a really easy plant for anybody to sow and grow. So I'm going to be taking advantage of being able to sow them still in June, and I'm going to be sowing some more. I'm trying a different variety. This one is called Black Beauty, and with a little luck, I'll get more than one plant this season. Okay, and staying on the cucumber courgette theme, squashes. If you're quick, you can still sow pumpkins and squashes in June. I'm keeping it fairly simple this year, and I'm only growing one, and that's butternut squash, because I really love it. This butternut squash is called Hunter. Butternuts store really, really well. They keep for ages, they taste delicious. You can roast them, you can put them in soups, and they're just a really good, varied crop to have. I totally recommend them. June is a brilliant time to keep sowing all kinds of leaves, whether they're for salads and stir fries. Everything from spinach, to rocket, to lettuce, or if you want more sturdy leaves that you can cook with, things like bok choy or rainbow chard. Basically, all of these things, if you get them into the soil now, are just going to do so well for you. The weather's really good for it, they're going to mature nicely, and you're going to have loads of lovely fresh crops. Now, for my one seed that if you sow nothing else, you have to sow this. And this month, it's French beans. You can sow French beans and runner beans in June because they're just going to take off in this warm soil and decent weather. Plus, they come in some really lovely, unusual varieties that aren't just tasty, they're actually really pretty as well. Last month, I sowed my Borlotti beans, and this month, I'm sowing these. I am actually so excited to have a packet of these. Check it out, these are yin yang beans, and they quite literally look like the yin yang symbol, black and white with a spot in the middle. Now, I haven't sowed these yet, but I couldn't resist opening them up to take a peek. How cool do these look? I think they look absolutely incredible. Imagine what these are going to be like once they're dried and stored in jars, let alone actually just eaten. So the last of the nice things to sow and grow for summer is sweet corn. With a little bit of luck, you can still sow sweet corn in June and get a nice harvest. It germinates quite easily when it's got a little bit of warmth underneath it, and then once it gets going, it grows really easily. This year I'm growing baby corn rather than a standard sweet corn, and this variety is called Mini Pop. Now, I already sowed mine at the start of May, it germinated and I've now got it planted out in my veg beds, but certainly according to the write-up on this one, you can still sow it in June. And finally, two types of seeds that if you sow now, it's going to give you a little bit of prep ahead of time for the winter. For starters, you can't go wrong with purple sprouting broccoli. These take a long time to grow and mature, but it's worth it when you finally get that harvest. Sow it now, and it'll mature for crops in late winter and early spring next year. And then if you're sowing sprouting broccoli at the same time, you may as well sow some calabrese if you like them. This one is called Bell Star F1, and they give you those much larger heads of broccoli. So these two are two good things just to get you started in the prep for later on in the season and certainly into next year. So those are my top picks for what to sow and grow in June this year. Hopefully it's given you some inspiration, assuming you're not already sowing and growing all of these varieties already, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, and loads of you aren't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon, because that way you'll be notified when I post my next video. And as ever, until next time, see you later.